Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here coming at you with 2023-24 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. Four box, pick your team number one, four boxes from a fresh case. And if you bought at least two teams, you'll get one entry, one entry to get the uh, Chicago Blackhawks. We'll take all the entries, randomize them, name on top, get Chicago Blackhawks, and you've heard of the, uh, the $1 million bounty that's out there. Not from us. But you know who, Dave, and Dave and Adams has that $1 million bounty going on. Ask, get the money from them. Um, when we pull that uh, one of one young guns of Connor Bedard. Pretty nice stuff. All right, so yeah, I'll, I'll just be happy with just a, a few young guns of him in four boxes. A few, so one would be nice. So if you follow the instructions, that means sort by your first names here. That means if you buy at least two, you get an entry. So Craig, you got an entry. Curtis, you got an entry. Darren with an entry. Darren with an I. Darren with an E gets an entry. Two teams, one entry. Two teams, one entry. Two teams, one entry. Two teams, one entry. Garrett gets two teams, one entry. Jeremy gets two teams, one entry. John gets 10 teams. That's five entries. Matt Wood gets two teams, one entry. Uh, Michael, this Michael P only got one team. This Michael P got six teams. There's three entries right there for you. But basically by an even number of teams and half of them uh, become entries. So right here, wait, hold on. just want to make sure that that was right. Bruins number one. That's Michael. Many. Okay. All right. So fifteen entries. Name on top. After fifteen, get the Blackhawks in this four box break. After eight. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and good luck, everybody. Eighth and final time, Darren K. Darren with an I. After eight, eight the hard way, you're going to get the Blackhawks in this four box break. Now we're ready to go here. Let's print and rip. Got a little Celtics Trailblazers on in the background. Celtics up 103-87 with 6.18 left in the game. Basketball season winding down, hockey season winding down. And All right, so we've got four, three stacks of four. It's a four box break. All right, I lost my die, so I don't have one anymore. Got a die right here. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll do that stack right there. This stack, these we will all save for some other time. So we'll put some squigglies right there. They may get mixed up together, but but you'll know that they're at least from the same case. That's the important part. Okay. Mostly looking for young guns. I guess now featuring one, so it's 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 brand. I guess you're right. They never really had. It's just young gun cards, and they weren't. There was no possibility of a one of one, but 
Now there is. Now what else do we? Or what else are we looking for here? That kind of stuff. When's Connor Bedard coming back? I think a while ago he got hit in the, broke his jaw, I want to say. I don't follow his hockey super closely, but I think I saw that. And so he has to, sounds like, sounds very painful. Maybe a lot of headaches. Oh no. Did the mechanic quote you that price first, Duncan? And then it doubled? Oh, I see. Well, that would have been worse, I think. Oh, so this is something like you looked up, it's like, oh, it should be this, but. Yeah, I, I, I've i long stopped uh, looking up what the cost of a repair will be. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no, car repairs are always more expensive than you want them to be. There's Kaprizov, ecliptic. I kind of like that parallel. Yeah, right. yeah, that's right, Curtis. You don't need a, you don't need a job to play hockey. Oh, Garrett, thank you. He's been back for a little bit now. Scored two goals last night. Can't be stopped, Connor Bedard. The kid can't be stopped. Are there? I don't know who the key series two rookies are. Actually, you know what? We have a... We have this thing here. That upper deck sent us. I'm sure they know what they're talking about. Those are your key rookies for that draft class right there. So I'm looking for Connor Bedard. Leo Carlson Ducks, Logan Cooley, Coyotes, Coyotes, Adam Fentilli for the Blue Jackets, and Luke Hughes for the Ducks. Luke Hughes? Like, like, Quinn Hughes? Luke Hughes? Is that part of the Hughes family, Garrett? And Jack Hughes, part of the Hughes family. Wow. We'll do left-right randomizers on these guys and any related card. Deep root Connor McDavid. He's the youngest, and he plays with his brother Jack. So, so give me. I mean, well, is he supposed to be good? I guess I feel like the Hughes brothers are good. And there's Lucas Condada. I'm not calling out the now. There's so many cards in here. I can't call out the, every name in this card. I will highlight. You know, cars that I need to highlight, but if I, if I do this, if I, if I call out every card in Series 2, my voice will be done by tomorrow. So I have to be judicious with the names that I say. There's Tristan Leno, Young Guns. 
I mean, basically, it's a young gun hunt, right? I'll mention all the young guns. Guys, there's Elliot Desnoyers for the Flyers, Young Guns Canvas for the Flyers. That, where did my list go? Uh, Curtis, it's been a while since you've been around Jaspies. Been watching a lot of hockey lately. I know all the names now. <laughs> most, most of the names. Some of the names. More names than before. David Pasternak. And there's Damien Giroux. Young Guns for the Wild. That's going to be a wild one for Darren Kay. Flyers. Uh, that is John Jackson. Ducks, John Jackson. Uh, this is uh, Canadian. That'll be for Michael Pie uh, Piekra. Young Guns, Joe Teasdale. That is another Canadian for Michael. Joe, uh, John Beecher. Bruins, that'll be for Michael Kmeny. And Kevin Karinsky, I think, for the Chicago Blackhawks. Darren Kay won that one. He saw it. He's kind of hit the wall this year. Quinn's been on another level, so I don't know if he'll reach that level. He's just compared to Quinn because they're both defensemen. All right, got it. All right, learning. You know? Every day we're, we're learning something. Whenever you're learning something, that's a good thing. And there's Luke Evangelista, that is Dazzlers. Are they, I think these are a little bit more short printed, at least they were in years past. Young Guns, Damian Hunt. All right, this game is over. Don't need to see the rest of the Celtics Timberwolves game. Why don't we put Islanders at Kings, at LA Kings on the background. This should be a third period. Kings up 1-0. 1650 left in the third period. That was close. All right, next. going on with, uh, oh yeah, the Kachuk brothers as well. Good family history there. Is there a Bedard brother? Is Connor Bedard or McDavid have a brother? Or? Brandon, hello, welcome. I've been meaning to try to go to Indian Wells every year and I end up forgetting. I try to do spring training this year, but, but believe it or not, my game was rained out. It's not rained out, they, they called it after a, a, a few innings. There's Young Guns, Hardy, Heyman, Acatel for the Caps. That'll be for Michael P.
Oh, nice. That must have been fun. There's Luke Hughes right there. That's what he's about. Young Guns, Nick Sweeney for the Wild. That'll be for Darren. There's Jack Eichel for the Golden Knights. I thought those, those would be numbered, but they're not. Most of these are not. Freddie Freeman? It's Freddie Freeman's walk-up music in the background. And we're doing those left-right randomizers. And there's Mackie Samokevich. Young Guns, Panthers. Michael P, Last Spot Mojo. Day with the Cup, Shea Theodore. What would you do with a Day with the Cup, ladies and gentlemen? Talk to me here. There's John Ludwig, Young Guns, Penguins, Michael. Yes. All right, there's our first Connor Bedard, and it's a Dazzlers Connor Bedard. Dazzling for Darren Kay from the Chicago Blackhawks. What does this go for, ladies and gentlemen? Someone, someone give uh, some non-hockey collectors an idea. Here's Connor Zeri, Young Guns for Calgary. That'll be for Curtis. Curse uh, would have no idea what to do with such a huge trophy. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to do either. I've been getting into to, to some golf lately, Curtis. I might take it for a round of golf. Put it in the in a seat next to me in the golf cart. Fill it with pudding. Yeah, maybe. Or beer. Little long straw. Might put a little bow tie on it and some googly eyes. Corner of Vegas, ladies and gentlemen, Stanley Cup champion odds. Panthers, plus 1,200. Avs, plus 900. Oilers are your favorites at plus 750. But those are the teams right around it. Where are the LA Kings at? Plus 2,500. LA Kings. Hmm. All right. Next box. 
We got uh, for the Kraken. Ty Card. This I don't know. Kurtaye is what I would say. There was a Kraken last year. Oh, that's Manny Beneers. That was that was the last year key rookie. So I'll predict canvas. <laughs> uh, I would dare not chip a actual golf ball at the cub. I would fear I would accidentally just blade it and then just damage, put a dent in the cub. But maybe that, that would be part of the charm. We got Matt Murray Young Guns for the Dallas Stars. That's going to go to Craig. But maybe I could use like practice golf balls that are that are a lot softer. Could probably pop one in there. It might take me a few tries, but probably pop one into the cup. Walker Dewar for Calgary. That's going to be for Curtis. Has it? There's Austin Austin Matthews who's been. Going, going off this season. But like actually damaged? There's Raphael Lavoie for the Oilers. Edmonton, that's going to go to Craig. Here's a Cole Caulfield for the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, it's going to go to Michael. Piacara. Dropped many times, fell in a lake. I mean, the lake, I feel like it's constructed pretty well. I feel like it's not going to get too much water damage. I, I would fear dropping it. There's Kevin Korinsky for Chicago. Korchinski? It's close enough. Darren K with Chicago. Let's see if we can find his teammate. We got William Dufour, upper deck canvas young guns for the Islanders, John Jackson. It's layers so they can just separate and fix. But what about the bowl of the cup? Except if I put a dent in the bowl of the cup. What happens there? Like those Lakers-y, kings -y uniforms. And then we got Young Guns, Emile Andre for the Flyers, John. And there's these uh, fun little portraits here, Connor Bedard for Darren Kay and the Blackhawks. Tiny hammer, easy fix. All right, all right. Well, we have a, uh, a silversmith in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Curtis. All right, yeah, then I'll chip actual golf balls into it if I had a day with the cup. I'll do golfer influencer trick shot videos with the Stanley Cup. Yeah, right, right into the bowl of the of the cup. In fact, you said if they if they can make these repairs so easy, I'll drill a hole on the side of, in the bowl of the thing, trip a golf ball in there, and and uh, attach some tubes in there to make some sort of Rube Goldberg machine. Did I say that right? And then. Uh, you know, and have it knock down a bunch of stuff and and a little rat trap style cage will land on Mr. Beast. Yeah, perfect. Boom.
Curtis, uh, do you remember the story of... Well, no, I'll tell you the story. You, you're, you might remember it. So during our Jaspie's Christmas party not so long ago last year, Jason Jaspie, noted hockey fan, come, you know, we were in conversation, will come up to me and be, and be like, be like, um, yo, Joe, did you hear about the Stanley Cup that survived a car fire? He's, I was like, the Stanley Cup survived a car fire? He's like, yeah. Stanley Cup survived a car fire. I was like, well, how have I not heard this? What happened? Why was it in a car? Isn't it usually in a case? I was like, no, it was just in the car. So like, why would it just be laying in the car? Did a player have it? It's like, a player? Yeah, did a hockey player have it? He's like, no, no, no. It was just in a... Where was it going? Where was it being transported? It turns out we, we were compl talking about two complete... I was thinking about the Stanley Cup. Jason Jasper was talking about the Stanley Cup that survived the fire in the cup holder of the, this one woman's uh, SUV. I don't know how the SUV caught on fire, but the, the, uh, the water bottle, the mug, survived. Thus providing, uh, here's a clear version of the Young Guns for Walker Dewar, Calgary, that's for Curtis. So, that, that was a hilarious moment. That exchange went on for um, about five solid minutes. No joking on either side. There's a Pavel Min, uh, Mintuyakov for Anaheim. That's for John. It's not, is it one? No, we're looking for Leo Carlson for Anaheim. But that's, this is for John and the Ducks. Anyway, how much money would I have uh, enacted any of the million dollar ideas that I have? Uh, I would have point zero 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 two million dollars if I enacted any of the ideas I had. Oh, but he's also a solid Ducks rookie. There you go. Thank you, Garrett. Um, they are they are the new. Well, this, the company Stanley has been around a while. And I guess they got into the the water bottle game. What? Why am I blanking on? So Stanley make like power tools. Is it that Stanley? Or is it Stanley the the? No, it's a different Stanley. Stanley with the, I don't know which Stanley Cup is surviving fire. Stanley 1913? Anyway. But yeah, it's it's a it's a uh, Yeti comp competitor. But not Stanley the Power Tool Company. Or is it the same company? Doesn't look like it. All right, there's Artur's Silvos Young Guns. That'll go to Michael in Vancouver. And Sidney Crosby has a different foil on it. Looks especial. I'll go to Michael. Jackson Lacombe, Young Guns. Ducks, John with the Ducks. Got some Dazzlers, Brady Kachuk. Ottawa Senators, that's gonna go to Curtis. And we've got a Monte Paolo. Young Guns, Nicholas going to Ottawa. That will be for Curtis.
Bobby McMahon, Young Guns for Toronto. That's going to go to Garrett. We got Vornikov, Dmitry Vornikov, Young Guns for the Caps. That's going to be for Michael. And that is that. We'll have another four box break loaded up. Get your teams before they're gone, and we'll do a left right randomizer for those two teams right there. Let's, uh, let's get some new dice. And a new list right there. Let's get, grab everybody's names. One through, nope, not one through 32. It's, we just need to do left, right randomizers. I'm losing my mind. Hey, thanks, Garrett. Wish there was more. But uh, thanks for getting in. I'm going to post the next one in a second, hockey fan, so just wait up. Three and a five, eight times. Left, right randomizer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So those right side cards, we'll get them. Thanks, everybody. That was four box. Pick your team number one. The first third of a fresh case. Not too many Connor Bedard in here. Not too many of the, the other key rookies, at least according to Upper Deck. But I feel like we pulled some decent, a decent group of young guns there. So check it out. Check out some more on jazbeescasebreaks.com. The more hockey we can move hockey fans, the more hockey we'll get and post. So let's keep grinding away at that. Thanks, everyone. Have a great one. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break.